starting off with a full check-in after one week of CrossFit is over. So let's see what my weight is. I personally don't think it's going to be any different. <laughs> yeah, it's 145.5. I'm pretty sure that's basically what I weighed last week. So not expecting anything to be different in that respect. Um, last week I felt hungrier. So in turn, I probably ate more than usual. So I've kept up with my body adapting to like more activity. One week out, I don't really feel any different, which is fine. I felt sore last week. So usually when that happens, I feel a little bit like tighter, um, but my clothes don't fit any differently. I don't feel like leaner. I don't, yeah, I, I definitely feel like strong and ready to hit another week, but I think it's normal to not have anything change after a week. So we'll just keep seeing how this goes. It's almost time for a workout. So let's go eat a pre-workout snack. I am sandwiching two chocolate rice cakes together, peanut butter in the middle. Usually when I'm thinking about pre-workout, I want carbs for sure. I don't care about protein too much until like we're talking after the workout. Uh, and then I'm also doing fats, A, because I love peanut butter, but B, because it's also gonna like satiate me a little bit, so to get some fats in there. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna eat in the car. Let's go work out, I'm scared. Still nervous. Overhead squats. Box jumps. Why do I even come here? modify everything after the first round. <laughs> so I don't know if that means I'm like super out of shape or sore or whatever. It sucked though. But I finished it. Finished it within three, every three minutes. What do you count? With modifications. We're basically just running you guys now. Uh, we're running for a mile and then there's just a bunch of other stuff. Then you're running again. But there is a one minute rest in there. So that'll be great. I'm not a runner, okay? <clears throat> We're gonna do it. This is a, gonna be a tough workout, so I have like a plan as far as mindset, but we'll revisit that at the end of the workout. Today was the first workout that I felt like I might like like maybe could barf a little bit <laughs> I've never thrown up from a workout but I was like you know just I didn't feel good I feel good now I got a little protein shake here um, but as far as mentality and this goes for any workout that you're doing at home I hope this encourages you and maybe gives you some tips on what you can think about when you're doing something difficult the first tip that I have is to stay positive I am a slow runner and you guys maybe saw that or have seen that in the last two weeks. I know that about myself. It's fine. But the worst thing that 
I could do while I'm running this mile or 600 or 800 is just focus on the fact that I'm slower than everybody else. I have done that in the past. Usually what it results in is I just like walk because I'm so, I feel so self-defeated. But what I focused on today was a goal, uh, which was to not walk at all. And I did that. I did when I made my turnarounds, I did walk twice. So, but positively it was great. I, I, I feel like I reached that goal. So tip number two, set little goals and make them um, realistic, especially if you're just getting through like a chipper like that, which is super difficult. Um, set a little goal for the, like the next round of things. And um, when you reach that goal, like pat yourself on the back. As you get into a really, really tough workout, your mental, or your mental clarity isn't always going to be there. And so in those times, usually what I'm thinking to myself is I'm either coaching myself like me or I'm using, this sounds so weird, but I can hear all of my past coaches like motivating me, cheering me on, yelling at me to do better. So if you've had those experiences in your life where someone has pushed you, yelled at you to do better, like, come on, Aubrey, you can do this, like channel that. One little thing that also helped today was today was a hero workout. So they went over the story of uh, why this workout exists. Um, and it was, you know, basically a, a guy in warfare and, um, you know, a really powerful story, um, a heroic story. So, and he ended up obviously passing away. Um, and you just think about those things. Like it could be worse. This is just a workout. It's not that serious. It's something that you voluntarily do. And so if you can keep that perspective, I think it's, it's just gives you the power to get through it. You're going to get there no matter if you're slow or not, you're going to do it. Do not give up. That's the worst choice that you can make. All right. I'm going to shower. We're leaving for Arizona tonight. So I'm going to go pack. I'll see you in a little bit. We're going to just close out this video with how I am feeling after week two. All right, we're headed out to the airport in 30 minutes and I have not eaten since CrossFit. I did have a protein shake, but uh, this was all we had in the fridge because I'm trying to get rid of food before we leave. So I made myself a sandwich. Um, overall, this week, after week two of CrossFit, I feel so sore today, but thankfully I am not injured at all. I have run in the more in the past two weeks than I have in like the, two, the last two and a half years. So has it been challenging? Absolutely. Um, but I'm excited for every workout. My energy overall, I feel like is still an eight out of 10. I'm, last week maybe was like a seven out of 10 because I was kind of just like tired from the shock. I feel really good about my body. I would say it's not like changing really to my knowledge um but i would still say like eight out of ten love it uh as far as hunger goes i have adapted a little bit this week so i'm not as hungry as i was last week um, but still i feel like i am probably eating more than i was before because i'm just burning more i might do a couple at home crossfit amrap style stuff between now and Wednesday when we get back. I'll hit it hard on Thursday and Friday for sure, but week three is gonna be kind of weird. So I'll see you there. Remember to comment below anything you wanna see in the future two videos because we got two weeks left of CrossFit. Um, like this video and then subscribe if you haven't. I would love that. You're worth it.